Hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today we are going to be showing off. Well, I'm going to be showing off this this bone meal farm I made. Like, so if you guys, this can also actually double as a carrot or potato farm. Uh, haven't I don't think bread really works with it, but yeah. So this is what you do. Yep. So basically, don't ignore that. So the foundation of this farm basically is. So there's these guys right here. Oops, sorry, don't know why he raised the price on me. But okay. So what this what is happening here is this farmer right here will harvest these carrots. Let me see if I get some. Like the ram takes me a thousand, so these crops will start to grow really fast, and eventually it'll get to the point where he will start throwing some carrots to his friend over here. And when he starts throwing the carrots to his friend over here, oops, when he throws the carrots to his friend over here, this is what will happen. So you know the carrot, he'll um, his friend can't pick them up obviously because there's some minecarts here, and so say he was to throw all of those then this little simple device right here would spit all of them out. It would go into here and they would be processed by this composter. Back into here and back into this chest. Take some bone meal. Right. I don't recommend turning it to random ticks speed currently though because it gets too distracted without to do anything. So he'll eventually sleep, see, he just threw some to his friend. So it'll start going out, go back here, and it'll eventually start making the compost. Now this is actually an incredibly simple build, and it's really good. Or er, it's a really good early on build if you found villagers and you don't have a. Uh, you need like a ton of bone meal, but you don't have any. You don't have like a skeleton run or anything. Uh, I you could use an all mob farm, but I'd recommend not because you get it cluttering up your system. So this is probably this is a pretty good one I think, and this is actually a really simple one to build too. So very simple actually, and um, I also look at right here. If you look at right here, I made it uh, expandable too. So basically, you can have another one of these like right just direction. I don't recommend putting them right next to each other, like two villagers and one, because then they would start throwing it to each other instead of throwing it to this man right here. So that's why this works. So you can it's very expandable. You can expand it either way, and this isn't even the limit. You can. You can like have some more water that flows down and stops here, it'll flow into there. And the only thing you really need to do for this, it's a very simple build to make. Like, all you need to do to complete this, I wish you would just grab this first thing. Yeah, you just need to bit grab, you don't even need to add this one if you just add it one to start. Have to add this stuff. The only re, it's not actually, it's not very complicated at all. If you're just starting out, it might be a little bit expensive. You know, all these hoppers, hopper minecarts, it's redstone, comparator, tons of hoppers here. But basically, I don't know the exact amount of redstone that you will need for this, and everything like that. Basically, this is how it works. So I'm going to show it off to you how to build it. And it's actually a very simple build. My look a little expensive because it kind of is a little bit expensive, but that's just how it is. Let me go. All right, so now just now to start off this build, I'd recommend just like starting with the base stuff. I'm gonna build it right here. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to get your system worked out. You know, so like if I throw throw carrots into this hopper. We convert it into bone meal right here as you can see. It'll make the butt kind of bone. I don't know why there's so much bone meal on that already, like geez. So basically that's what you need to do, yeah. I'll just I don't know exactly when to remove it, it's fine. Alright. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab your water and some whatever block you're choosing, this block doesn't really matter. And you just want to make an eight, I think eight long. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Of course, this is just like the bare minimum you need of it. We made it a little too long. Three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll be seven, seven long way from the hopper on each side. But so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. We'll stop there. This is good enough. Also, the glass here isn't a necessity, and you could very well put the dropper like right here so it wouldn't you know, spew off, but I just forgot to do it, and to make it like that I'd have to move this whole entire build, which I really don't want to do. So yeah, just do the same thing here. Gonna equal, I just realized this one is shorter than that it definitely is. Go one more. Okay, so you'll stop it there. All right, then. See, that was a pretty easy one to do. This is where it gets, you don't actually have to make it this far up, but for, I just I just did it for the thing. I just did it for the sake of viewing purposes that I made it that far up. You put the water there. I'm gonna do it to make it easier for y'all. For y'all, I'm just gonna nope. Put the dropper going that way. And some hoppers. Up here, you can use. I think you can use like only. You can only use. You can use only one hopper if you want to. But I'm just gonna put it, put it a little. I'm just gonna put it equal to this to make it easier on myself to do this. Hello, thank you for responding. Next thing you want to do is you want to you know grab that stuff. And the way you would do this is you want to get your whale, whales. Whales. You want to get your whale. And you want to also grab your hopper mine carts. They're going to be very important. So, let's put that there. Set it down right there. As you can see, it already went. Now, I don't know if this did go to my rail. I did not. So, I actually still need the rail. I don't know why I put it in the way. It can be any rail. It doesn't really matter. And again, with the block thing, it doesn't have to be any sort of block. But I prefer to use this iron because it looks nice and simple, you know? And it's also very functional as it. Well, it's not functional because I really wouldn't use this in a survival microphone. I don't even know what MVT, MVT means, but okay. Actually. Go under. That's just to give this little thing a little platform to rest on. Make sure it's down so they'll actually make sure this is here. Yeah, that's important so they don't just you know walk out. After you've done this, that's the that's probably one of the harder parts on this thing. So the simple thing you want to do is just build a little area for your villagers that it will sit in there. Wouldn't make it so we can actually get around here. This is a little big for the other one, but it doesn't matter. It's probably way too big, but whatever. So you've got your little area ch ch chiseled out. It doesn't matter really the size. I mean, it does. It will increase your rate of farming, but if you get it too so big that It'll all just grow really big, that doesn't matter. Looks like that guy's full. Just grab the grass block. You want to fill your grass. I am not building something this big like that for just a tutorial showing. Nah. I'm not doing that. This is going to be as close as we're going to get. I am not building it any bigger. So. Go, just gonna put a little bit around. And now it's uneven. This is see, this is why I don't do this kind of stuff. And it's fine. Oh, I just gotta remove one there. Okay. Alright, so next thing you wanna do, nice and simple. Just put a grass block over there to make sure it won't go up. Of course, really you're gonna have a hard time with a grass block. 
But you do, but you don't need grass up here, but I'm just going to use it for the purpose of this. Sorry for the terrible texture of that grass, by the way, because, you know, it's, you know, it's uh, over, over redstone right now, so it's a desert cover. Not over redstone. We're over the sandstone. So, yeah. That was a terrible idea, but okay. So I'm gonna build the barrier around here. You can also put it so like that's actually aligned with the wall, but for some reason my dome brain didn't think didn't think about that, so you know. It's just gonna have to go with that. Alright, at this point you're pretty much almost done with it. Uh I just gotta use your composter. And of course I'm gonna need my hoe back. Alright, now it's time to spawn your villagers. But you won't spawn your villagers, you will get your villagers. Now, if you're in survival mode getting these villagers, the easiest thing I would suggest is say you have a villager here. A villager here. It's your villager, barely. Just build a minecart track to get up to it. I mean, it's really the simplest way you can do it. Stay on this time. It's really the simplest way you can do it. In survival mode, since I'm a creative, I can just pop one down. Remember a farmer? Thank you. Remember a farmer? I'm playing two at a time, so. Alright. So, this is. You're almost done. Your last step to complete this process is you want to get some carrots. Throw them to the farmer if you're really lazy. But if you're not lazy, just plant it yourself. Oh, my mistake. That's one thing I actually forgot to do. You can put a glass barrier, I'm just gonna, you know, put a piece of glass. But, the best thing you want to do for this thing is you want to put something above, or else your villager will try to jump on top of it, you'll end up in the trampling of your crops. So, you're finished. This is this is what you got. So, I will say, it's kind of slow if you only got one of these things, considering, you know, they have to actually... Right. I had like seven at the beginning, so you guys got another one. So, see, so, so yeah, at the beginning it's pretty slow. This not what to do. Yeah, at the beginning it's really slow, but eventually, you know, you can get some much bigger. As, you know, I'm, like I made it, like I made it, it's expandable. So these things will grow, and I will say, they won't grow at all times of the day because they work just like normal villagers. They will stop when it's nighttime, and when it's time to sleep. So the way you can avoid that is just by going to sleep. And there's also conversation times during the day, so they won't, like, actually harvest at that time either, but most of the time they'll be harvesting. That's the two exemptions. So, you're done. All you gotta do is just throw your carrots in here. And wait. And that is when I forgot to make that machine. I was stressing you guys to see if you would notice I forgot the machine. So, this is this looks like a... You might be looking at this going, what? So it might look a little confusing to people to start off with. But it's actually very, very simple. Very simple machine. Just put it here, here. Excuse me. Here and here. That's, that's it. That's it. So what you want to do is you want to get your oh to the first the repeater. I forgot the repeater. This is actually a very simple redstone contraption. I can explain to you how it works actually. So how it works is the comparator go to here. I think that's right there. Can no, it's the tongs pressing the wrong way. So, what happens is the pairs are like, wait, there's stuff in here. And like, we're kind of like an observer would do. So, it will spread up to this, to both of these pieces of redstone here, and the one below there, as you can see. Once it's done that, it, the redstone is actually going into this block right here. But, you can't actually draw something, see, like a redstone. I'm going to connect to that, but I won't. Here, I'll go this way to show an example. 
This is this is right now this block is soft power because it's only power by that. If you add a repeater going away or into it, it makes it hard power. So this could go into here. Just lead back into here. And it'll create a nice and simple firing thing. Just add your glass up here to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And it will eventually float down covers into here. And it will go into this chest. Now, I must say, I haven't exactly tested it with the fact that you might be able to uh, speed up the process of the actual composting by putting like, multiple hoppers and stuff. But for the most part, this is probably the best you can do to start off with. Uh, more of these farms, I'd, ex I'd especially advise getting more of these, like, right near each other. And if you get a lot of these, you can make quite a bit of gunpowder. Or not gunpowder. You can get quite a bit of stuff. I've already got seven bone mill here. And this is a big bone mill. It's 15 bone mill, and it really hasn't been that long. So yeah. Let me spin it, and you'll get better stuff. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to blow up that like button with RUTNT, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more stuff and things like this. Maybe some more Minecraft tutorials, maybe Minecraft Let's Play. Maybe that would be cool. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys would like me to do. More of these tutorials, more of the Let's Plays. It's kind of like a kind of like a jump for me. I mean, I did some building things, but not redstone things. Well, if you can even call it a redstone thing. But yeah, I want to I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I will got, and I will see you next time. Bye.